Hello and welcome back to the channel and a happy new year to you all. Yeah, happy new year. Good to be back, isn't it? It's very good to be back. I hope your new year is going well. Ours has gone quite good. Um, we've booked quite a few trips which we'll come on to. Seems like it's been a bit of a, a dark long winter doesn't it? <laughs> well it's been a little while since we were out. We went out mm. I think back end of November last time we were out. We've been busy though haven't we? Yeah. Busy December, busy just into January but now we're itching to get going again. Definitely. <laughs> so a little bit of an update video really this isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what should, where should we start with the update? Should we start with the crunch? Oh the crunch time. Well, this is over to you for this one. Right, well actually, all will be explained in a little clip that I recorded uh, just yesterday. Have a little look at this. So here she is, undercover. Actually, she has been since the last trip out, which was back end of November. So we had every good intention of being away over Christmas, but our plans changed. That's the fabulous thing about caravanning, the flexibility to be able to just you know, change your plans. Because essentially, our holiday home sits on the drive and we just take it with us when we go. But we had a busy time over the sort of back end of November through December and now into January. But the good news is we're ready to rock and roll. But the caravan is pretty much winterized, so there's a bit of work to do, which starts off with whipping this cover off. I must just tell you, um, I did have a mishap, <laughs> a motor mover mishap uh, after the last trip out back end of November. Um, I did manage to capture a little bit of it on my CCTV camera which just sits over uh, on the roof here and uh, it was such a stupid thing it's caused some damage to the front of the van which I'll show you and uh, I have got a repair man coming out to, to look at that so uh, a silly silly mistake hang on in there I'll show you the damage and I'll show you a couple of other little bits that I've got the guy coming to do to sort of repair the dents and stuff that I've got a silly little dents but they're annoying me and most people don't even know they're there but I do and that's what's so annoying anyway let's get the cover off <laughs> Right, so that's the cover off and uh, well first impressions are it looks pretty clean it ought to be that's kind of one of the reasons we cover it up but the roof regardless nearly always goes green but uh, yeah it's been a couple of months it's not looking too bad so what are these little dents I was going on about well this is minute but can you just see there I mean, I'm really in close here. That looks much worse than it actually is because when I come out, you can't see it. But there's a scratch there, so it annoys me because I always see it. And then there's a, a dent, again, barely visible. Let's get out of the shadow if I can. But there is a dent that's just there, tiny little dent. And somewhere around here, I know there's another one. I just can't see it now. I'm not getting them out because of the tiny little dents. I'm getting them out because of the damage to the front. Let's see if we can see that a bit better. Yeah. It's here. Look. So I know it's not a lot. But when this happened, there was a, a neck of a crunch going on. It really did crunch because it. I took the motor mover off before engaging the handbrake. What an idiot. That then consequently rolled forward and hit this post that I'd already put up, which is probably just as well, because if the post wasn't up, I think the whole thing would have gone down the drive and into the car. So that could have been a lot worse. So it's not massive damage by any stretch of the imagination, but it's fiberglass and it's cracked. And I just don't like things that aren't quite spot on. So man's gonna come and do it, 150 quid to repair that and a few dents, most of which I can't currently find. 
Well, I hope you've learned his lesson with that one. It was stupid, honestly. I know it looked like the caravan just wasn't moving anywhere and it only probably rolled about six inches, but just enough, just to crack the front. Um, yeah. But uh, the man that we had, he, he did some work on our car a couple of years ago, didn't he? He did, because uh, I Clive. scratched it as well, didn't I? Yeah, so there you go. Two wrongs don't make it right. But Clive came along and uh, did a great job. And I spoke to him, saw him in the bar the other day when we were out for my mum's birthday. And he said he wouldn't mind me if I wanted to just film a little bit of his repair job. He didn't mind. So, so that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Let's have a quick look on top of the roof and let's see how dirty that's looking. So, I guess... Not too bad, but it's going to require a good clean, especially when you start to look at the, the detail here. Can you see the green sort of moss that's starting to appear in the sort of little seams between the roof and the side of the caravan? And then when you get onto the actual things like the aerial there, which actually never used the aerial. If I just zoom in. You know, I just, that annoys me, stuff like that. So, this is going to need a good clean as part of the prep for getting ready to go. Probably show you that in a separate video because today is going to be all about the inside. I'll take these skylights off. I've done a video on this before, but I'll remove those completely because there's like two skins to that, as you may well know. So, both those skylights will come off completely and they'll be cleaned. Underneath the uh, it's annoying isn't it but underneath the solar panel it looks particularly dirty that's one of those jobs that you probably do once in a blue moon I might well take the solar panel off and just do that as a one-off we'll see one of the things I did was disconnect the battery which is in the garage on the bench it's been topped up just do a quick reading and see how it's looking. Yeah, 12.48 volts is good. Bringing it in from the cold, frosty weather we had was probably a good move. I don't, it's the first time I've done it, because you learn as you go, but it was worth doing. And uh, I'm gonna connect that back up to the caravan now. I'll get some power in the caravan and get a bit of heating on. One thing I wanna look at is to see whether or not we have any sort of uh, any damp anywhere in the caravan. We've been really lucky, it's been very dry, but we're going to see. Right, let's go look inside, see what's got to be done in here. I've already connected the battery up, that's done. And I've actually put the heating on for the first time since November. So it's just starting to warm up now. This is how we pack away, folks. Uh, we take all the cushions up from the seats we put them inside plastic bags. We uh, we open up all of the cupboards so that the air can circulate. And we open all the taps, having once drained the water. So the taps are in the open position, as you can see. And uh, same in here, it doesn't look very inviting at the moment. But uh, cupboards open all around. Air can flow. Mattress has got a, a cover over it plastic protection cover and then pillows and stuff and some and carpets are in bags same into the shower room cupboards all over we leave a lot of stuff in because it's only been a, about eight weeks or so and then the other thing that we've done is we've removed all of the curtains Helen's washed and ironed those so Really, the job today is get this looking something inside. It's actually a lovely sunny day today. I wanted to just point these out. You know these uh, dehumidifiers that people put in their vans and caravans when they're in storage? And these soak up any water, any damp. As you can see here, there is absolutely nothing in that at all. Bone dry, not a thing. So that's one that we've just kept at the front. Here's another one which we've kept in the washroom, in the toilet. And again, completely dry as a bone. There is no, no damp 
in here whatsoever. Not even, not even a droplet of water in that. So I'm very pleased. I suppose if you're going to get any moisture or damp, it's generally in the washroom area. Taps open, look. Same in here, taps are open. So the job today is a simple one, really. I need to turn all of this into this. So the carpets are down, the rugs are down. The biggest job of all, probably, was <laughs> the curtains. Anyone who's ever taken the curtains down in your caravan for washing will know um, what a pain in the backside it is, really, to get all those clips in there and get it all back in again. Anyway, curtains all in. Marvellous. Cushions all unpacked, in position. I've got the uh, Aldi heating system on, it's toasty warm in here. Rugs are down, and uh, there's more work to be done. One of the jobs I have to do, let me just turn around and speak to you. I've got to clean the pipes. I used to have a pub years ago, Helen and I, we had our own pub in Norwich oh, a long time ago, in the early 90s. And uh, so one job I had to do every Sunday was clean the pipes. And the same has to be done in the caravan, uh, not every Sunday, but certainly once or twice a year maybe, certainly at the start of the season, uh, clean the pipes. Probably not going to get this done in this video, but I will do another video of how I clean the pipes. Uh, it's not just about cleaning out the, um, the aqua roll um, and making that all clean. You need to pull the water through the, um, the system in the caravan and, and let it soak for a while and then um, drain it all off and flush it. That's exactly how I used to clean the pipes in the pub. So that's the job I've got to do. I mentioned earlier, got to get on top of the roof. Not physically. I think I'll come through if I go on top of the roof. Uh, but I need to get that roof really nice and clean. I'm going to take the skylights off, like I mentioned. And um, there's, there's sort of two layers to those. I've done a video on it before, but I'll get those off and give them a clean. Uh, give the caravan itself a really good um, wash on the outside. Get all those little green bits off. Um, get my... Um, Phoenix out and give it large and then that will all be ready for when the man comes I think he's coming next week to uh, sort out those little dents that I spoke about. So um, we want, we're itching to get going, where are we going Helen, what's the plans? Well we've, we've just booked another one last night haven't we? You can't <laughs> stop, once you start yeah. you can't stop. We're going to go to Yorkshire and Scarborough in a couple of months time. Yeah we are and um, it's an area we used to go to quite a lot actually before we had the caravan yeah. and we've not been since we had the caravan so we definitely want to get back. We've got a club site booked and we're going to go uh, to a little um, CL, which is right by Robin Hood's Bay, which I'm really keen to go and film and get the drone out. We're going to go to York as well, aren't we? Yeah, York but, and Lincoln, I think. We'll finish it off at Lincoln. Yeah, I think we'll do about five sites or so in a couple of weeks. So that's one to look forward but to. But this, this year, we've learned there's no good of gone just for a couple of days and moving on. It's too stressful and it's too much work. It is, it's and a lot of work. And it's supposed to be it? a rest, isn't it, really, at the end of the day. So we're doing like three and four nights, aren't we, each? Yeah. The only exception to that ever will be if we've got a really long journey and we just want to break we up for one night hop. before yeah. we get there, when we go to Scotland and stuff like that. Definitely want to do at minimum three, four nights okay. um, on these tours. So yeah, Yorkshire Scarborough, looking forward to that. What else we got? Well, we've got Clubfest, which we were sent an email actually from the Caravan and Motorhome. Uh, place I can't remember what, what place is it. It's, uh, well, it's actually it's a hall that's near to uh, North Am Kettering Northamptonshire area. Mm. So it's just off the A14. It's like a pop-up site, isn't it? Yeah. Weekend. So I think we do four nights in total there. We're going to stop at mm -hmm. Cambridge on the way down at Cherry Hinton, and then we do four nights at this hall on a pop-up site. Mm. And there's something different every night, isn't there? They have like um, tribute bands on, like the Eagles and Duran Duran. And uh, badness, Queen, I think, yeah, it? Queen, badness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they named that band after you. Oh. And they do like cooking demonstrations and the waggiest dog's tail and stuff like that. So that should be quite different. We're going with some friends. Yeah, I I'll be in the bar while you're at the uh, <laughs> at the cooking demonstration. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll eat what they cook. So we look forward to that. That'd be a bit different, the club fest, and then. We are actually, we're not going to go home from the first time. No, we? we're, going to, we're going to be away for a month all in all. Um, and we're going to go straight to Wales and do another tour, which we got off the Caravan and Motorhome site, didn't we? Yeah, it was really interesting because we've, mm. we've done a North Wales trip before, haven't we? And mm -hmm. uh, But I really fancied Tembe and we looked at it closely. Yeah. You liked Tembe, didn't you like looking at mm -hmm. it? 
So this tour uh, just so happened we went onto the Caravan and Motorhome Club website uh, and there was a tour that had already been kind of What's done. What's it called? The Coastal Trail. It's called the Coastal Trail, yeah. yeah. And there's seven mm. sites and it's recommended by club members, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't have to do all seven sites, but we've decided that we would do. We've decided we'll test the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we won't go into the detail now because you, you'll see the video, but um, a lot of it is coastal, with the exception of getting into the Brecon Beacons for a bit. I think it's the Brecon Beacons, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you've been to Wales before, you'll know all the little tr um, mines and the little train, uh, steam trains and stuff you can get on. So that's going to be quite a long tour, actually. It is. Yes. And I think we've got Trev and Sue's meet up before one of them. Oh, yeah. I think the week before, mm. <clears throat> we've got the Posh Cats Rally mm. in Suffolk. That'll be a really interesting one for us because it'll be the first time that we've ever been off grid. <laughs> it's going to be, how are you going to dry your hair? What are you going to do for curling, John? It's not my hair, it's the gas. I'm, I'm never that happy about having the gas fridge and things on. Mm, they're designed for it. You ain't got to worry about the gas. Mm. And it's all been serviced and everything. So, But we look forward to that. So a couple of days off grid with the Posh Cats and, and a few other YouTubers who I know are going to be there as well. I've already yeah. spoken or have exchanged some messages, myself and uh, Mike from the Frenchies Motor Homies. Mm -hmm. So Mike and Kirsty will be there. And I know some others are going there. Crafty Caravanners, I think, are going to be there. Uh, and no doubt... Um, some more. So we'll look forward to seeing them. Then what we got? Um, what did you book last night? Oh, we just booked Derbyshire <laughs> actually, because I wanted to go to Chatsworth House, to have a look around there. But I also wanted to go up to, um, is it Buxton? Buxton, Buxton, yeah. And I wanted to go have a look around Haddon Hall. I think they used, they used that in the Mary Queen of Scots film. Yeah. which I think was two, 2019, and it looks really nice. So we've kind of gone up there when it's open, so I can do both. Yeah, we, so that's ended up, we, we start with, <laughs> we've booked a couple of sites, I think we've ended up booking four or five, haven't we? Oh. So we're going to go, um, I come from Derbyshire, from Chesterfield, so we're going to go to Poolsbrook, very close to my hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go into Chatsworth, then we're going to go to Buxton, then we're going to go to Castleton, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and then probably somewhere else on the way home, which we haven't booked yet. We went up um, to Lick Penny, and it's really quite a nice area. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So it'd be nice to spend a bit more time there. Yeah, Lick Penny, there's a video. I'll do a link below for this. There's a video to yeah. Lick Penny below. Um, that's near Matlock Bath, isn't it? Yeah. A uh, lovely area. But we just didn't nice. spend enough time there. But we saw enough uh, to want to go back, which is probably going to do a couple of weeks. Yeah. So that would be something to look forward to. Uh, we have got some of the plans, but we haven't booked. Uh, so we're thinking maybe a, a west coast, aren't we? Uh, maybe go down to maybe Devon and Cornwall, Cornwall in yeah. se September ish, end of the year. Can't make a mind that we're to go to Devon and Cornwall or go back to Scotland, but we've been to Scotland for about the last three or four yeah, years on the bounce now. Yeah. Well, certainly before and post COVID. Yeah. Outside of that, i um, got to get some new tyres on the caravan before we do all that touring. So they're coming up to five years. So between mm -hmm. five and seven years, you must change them. We're going to do it on the five. I'm going to change the spare as well, so we'll have three new tyres on. We'll get this bodywork fixed that, that, that uh, I've went and messed up. No pocket money for you for no, a while. No, that's my spending money ah. out the window. Um, anything else? Oh, you had a few people asking about Bella, didn't you? On one yes, of them. yeah. Where is she? Come here, Juju. Bell Bell. Come here. Well, basically, she's had two lots of tests done um, since she had to have that eye taken out, and we're treating the other one. And but they were daytime, they were daytime tests, and they just asked recently, didn't they, in December, yeah. um, for us to do a 24 hour test through the night because they thought the pressure might drop through the night. Yeah. Um, but in actual fact, it didn't, it actually fell. And to give you an idea, it should be 19 and below, and actually fell to seven through the night. So, yeah, I don't quite uh, know what those measurements mean, but they're good news if they're below 19, aren't they? Well, the bad eye when we took it to the hospital was 70, the pressure in it. So it shows you, you know, just how Before high it was. Yeah, that's a good So hopefully in touch and wood, everything's fine at the moment for her. Yeah, she's had a haircut recently as well, so she mm -hmm. smells very good. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> So she's, I think she's looking forward to going back out in the caravan. Yeah, too. She, she does love the caravan, actually. Yeah. 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 So plenty to look forward to. We just thought we'd give you this little update because we've been, the camera's not been on for about four weeks now. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I hope you've all had a great Christmas. Hope you've got a brilliant new year ahead planned. If you're a new subscriber, good to have you on board. 
Uh, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, smash it now. Uh, we've got some fantastic trips lined up and uh, yeah. we might take you with us wherever we go so you can see. Really looking forward to Wales in particular and the Posh Cats Rally. So, we'll leave it there for now. We should be back hopefully next week with another one. So I've got to get this caravan cleaned and ready to go, so we'll, uh, we'll film some of that. Hopefully it'll be a bit warmer because it has been quite cold. It has been chilly. It? Yeah. yeah. Our first trip out, although we've not booked it yet, will almost certainly be local once we've had all the little bits done just yeah. to make sure everything's working okay. So we'll keep you posted as to where we're going to be going. Yeah. So until the next time, Bell Bell, are you going <laughs> to wave? Come on, give us a wave. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now.